everybody. Good morning, happy Monday. So glad that you're here. I just wanted to uh, introduce myself again. If you don't know who I am, I'm Erin Hart. I'm a registered nurse health coach and I help women who are wanting to lose weight for the last time with a sugar and flour free lifestyle. I'm My program is called the Year of You and I offer guidance and support and accountability throughout the year to keep you on track with your goals and help you to make your dream of living in a healthy sized body into a reality. So this week, what we're talking about in our Monday Mindset video uh, is just uh, the importance of focus. Uh, so success in this lifestyle is all about direction, not perfection. And this is something that has really rung true to me. I am right there on this journey with you. So. I, um, the, my story is that back in 2020, I found myself at 284 pounds and I was just sick and tired all of the time. And I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. It was, um, a very low point in my life and, um, you know, finding this lifestyle and this strategy, really has just completely changed my life. I lost 125 pounds. I've been in maintenance for over a year and just everything is so different. Everything has changed. And, um, but you know, it's still not a perfect journey. I'm still, I still experience food addiction at times and it's, um, and I wish I were perfect, but sometimes I struggle too. And I, I need to reach out to my support people too. And, and get that help. But one thing that really was powerful this week that someone said to me, because you know, it's so easy to get down on ourselves when we make mistakes or when we're not perfect. And you know, it's easy to get discouraged and fall into the all or nothing mentality, right? But one thing I just loved that someone told me this week is that it's all about direction and not perfection. You know, where are you going? And this is a really important thing. Um, focus is just so key. We need to know where we're going. We need to have that vision of where we want to be um, in a year, in 10 years, you know, in our minds all the time. Uh, so focus on where you're going, not on where you've been, right? We all make mistakes. Um, I mean, ideally, hopefully we can get to a point where we don't, um, feel like we're white knuckling it. Right. And that piece, it really does come in the beginning. It's, it's hard to transform your life. Uh, but over time, what I have found in my program is that it just has become so easy and effortless and, you know, but there are still times for me too, when like you know, those old habits, um, and those old mindsets, they want to sneak back in cause that's kind of our default. And, uh, so just be so kind to yourself, be patient with yourself transformation. It takes time, but let's talk about focus and how to keep your eye on the ball, like keep your eye on where you're going. Right. Um, we want to overcome the all or nothing mentality. We want to be able to overcome perfectionism and just have this as a sustainable lifestyle. So what, um, what I wanted to share with you today, let me see if I can share my screen. I'm not sure if I, if I can, I've never shared my screen on a Facebook live. Okay. So I'm not exactly sure how to share my screen. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out, but, uh, let me just, uh, pull up my little paper here. And so what it is, is in the PDF workbook, I have a paper and I'd like to encourage you to start filling this out every week. Um, the paper it's called my weekly focus. So, um, if you've noticed in our coaching calls, if you are in my group coaching or one-to-one -one hybrid coaching program and the year of you, uh, we have these group coaching calls. And, um, we usually start with talking about our gratitude and our wins, you know, celebrating together the things that are going well. And then we talk about our, you know, challenges and thing and obstacles that we're facing and how we do some coaching on how to overcome those. 
But at the end of the call, I always ask you, you know, what is your focus for this week? What is it that you're wanting to commit to? So, um, so in the PDF workbook, there's a paper called my weekly focus and that paper, what it is, is so it has you list out four things and let me just pull it up here. Sorry, I can't share my screen, darn it. Um, let's see. So the first one it talks about is, it's asking you like, what are your main priorities, goals, and intentions for the week? So, so, you know, what, we can't do everything all at once, but what are your main priorities, goals, and intentions for the week? And then, you know, write, write it down, but somewhere where you, and then post it somewhere where you can see it, maybe on your fridge or in your bathroom window or in your bathroom mirror or something, or write it in your phone somewhere where you can refer back to it and say, okay, like, what is my main focus this week? Um, maybe, um, it's, maybe you're struggling with a certain aspect of your program, uh, like sugar or flour or weighing your food or bites, licks and tastes off of plan. Um, or maybe it's like an area of focus of something of a habit that you're wanting to, to get better at doing. So maybe you're wanting to implement prayer and meditation into your life. Maybe you're wanting to start exercising. So what is your weekly focus? Like, and don't try to change everything all at once, right? We just want to choose a few things, like one, two, three things um, to focus on. So what area of your program are you wanting to improve? You know, it's all about progress and not perfection. We don't have to be perfect at everything, but what we're wanting to do is to be moving in the right direction and having progress. So, uh, so uh, once you have that written down, go ahead and ask yourself, okay, well, what do I need to do this week? Um, what actions will help me to create the life that I want? So, so on your to-do list, on your to-do list, we want to separate it out. Okay, what must I do this week? What must I do? And then what do I want to do? Because those are different, right? And um, having focus on where we're going, like that takes prioritization. So what must I do? What do, what do I want to do? And you know, the things I want to do, but I, you know, if I don't have time for it, it's not a priority. And then what are the things on, on your not to do list? And having a not to do list is just as important as having a to do list, right? <laughs> so I love this tool um, just because it really helps to kind of uh, clarify what actions need to be taken. What do I not, what do I, what must I do this week? Like the non negotiables, right? I need to take care of my kids. <laughs> I need to, you know, I, I, I must, um, I must, you know, what are the things that are just non-negotiable? I must meal plan. I must uh, prep my food and have that two hours of time on the weekend to uh, to prepare my food for the week. You know, what are the things that are just non-negotiable for you? And then what are the things that you want to do, but you don't necessarily have to do? So maybe it's, you know, um, maybe it's going to a movie or, <laughs> you know, what are the things for you that, um, what are the things that you want to do that week that are going to take up your time? Uh, but it's not necessarily, uh, neg unnegotiable. So, uh, and then ask yourself, okay, well, what are the things this week that I are on my not to do list? So what are the things this week that I do not need to be doing that are not going to be getting me um, to where I want to go, right? Like, look at where you want to go. What are the things that are going to derail you from achieving that? Um, maybe it's staying up late and binge watching shows on Netflix. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe it's um, the negative self-talk. What is on your not to-do list this week? So I, um, anyway, I love this tool. I think it's great to do I like to do it on Sundays. You know, Sundays are kind of my, like my weekly self-reflection day where I, I do some journaling. Um, 
and I just kind of look back on my week, what went well, you know, what are some areas that I'm wanting to improve in, and then finding um, my weekly focus, right? Like, what is it that I'm focusing on this week? We can't do everything, so prioritizing using this tool, I think, is really helpful um, in creating the life that we want uh, and figuring out what fits into our lives and what doesn't fit into our lives right now. So um, I just want you to know that I believe in you, that if you're not perfect with your program, just know that it's okay. There is hope. Um, the more that you are consistent with your program, the better and faster results you're going to get. Um, and ask yourself like, if your inconsistency is going to cost you your the ultimate success that you're trying to get. Um, is it worth it to you to be inconsistent? Is it worth it to you to go off of your plan? You know, um, don't beat yourself up, but just, you know, ask yourself those questions. Is this getting me where I want to go? Or is this um, something I need to put on my not to do, not to do list? Um, just remember, it's all about direction and not perfection. Be kind to yourself in this program. You know, it takes time to transform your mind and your body, but it is possible and I know that you can do it. Um, I, I just am, I just believe that God wants to help us. And, um, that is my faith. I have a deep faith in God and I know that with his help that our greatest weaknesses can become our greatest strengths. So don't give up. Don't give up. Keep trying. Keep taking uncomfortable action every day. And, you know, every, and try to overcome the all or nothing mentality, right? Um, have focus on where you're going. If you have a little bump in the road, or as a client said last week, I love what she said in our group coaching call. It's kind of like you're driving down the freeway and you hit a pothole, right? If you're, if you hit a pothole and you're old in, in your, and your program, like it doesn't mean you have to stop and give up and turn around and go back to where you started, right? No, it just means you hit the pothole and then you keep going. Like, don't let it stop you. Um, you might slow down, it might slow you down for a second, but just keep going. You'll rebuild that momentum. And um, so overcome the all or nothing mentality by when you do make a mistake, immediately and quickly get right back on track. Don't wait until tomorrow, you know, um, really just try to finish the day strong and reach out to your support network. Um, make sure you're connecting with people who are empathetic and non-judgmental and will keep you accountable with your goals. And, um, yeah, just every day is a fresh new day. And if you no, it, yesterday doesn't matter. Tomorrow doesn't matter. All we have is today. So win the day today and uh, focus on direction and uh, not perfection. But at the same time, we want to get there quickly. So, so the more you're on plan, uh, the easier it's going to be for you. It really will. So like the saying says, 100% is easy or 100% is a breeze. 98% is a beast you know, be all in with your program. Just go all in. Don't hold back and just, um, commit to this lifestyle change. It's going, it's going to be worth it. And then as you keep going, it gets easier and easier every day, every week and every year. So, um, so I believe in you and I'm cheering you on. I'll talk to you later. Bye.